Hello, welcome to the Strategic Planning Masterclass, Strategy Made Simple for Entrepreneurs. I'm your facilitator, Dr. Helena Moray. I'll be walking you through how to plan for a business growth. Why should you listen to me? Because I'm an entrepreneur just like you. I've been an entrepreneur for the past 20 years, starting with my career in advertising and marketing, where we grew our business from zero to more than 50 million naira in six months. And after that, I've also gone into other ventures, sports marketing, real estate, and lately, food processing. I also have interest in a farm, growing oil palm and cassava. I speak at various forums, and I also lecture at different business schools. I'm happy to walk you through strategic planning made easy for entrepreneurs. So what we will be doing, I will be taking you through the seven steps of strategic planning and I'll be using the five diamond framework by Fredrickson and Hambrick. Today, we will be going through lectures, discussions and case studies. I encourage you to pause and rewind as you watch this so that you can get the concepts as I explain them. But more importantly, pause to take down your notes and plan your strategy as we go along. So what are the seven steps to effective strategic planning, which will guide our session on this masterclass? One is how do you review or develop your vision and your mission? That's where you start from, having a vision and a mission, a direction for your strategic planning. Next, you analyze where you are. What are you doing now? This is where you use tools like SWOT, strength, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats, but as five forces, right? Which is an industry analysis tool where you check how the industry is doing. It helps you as a business owner. It also helps you look at your own business. What is your answer metrics? What are the businesses you are doing? Which was the, are the cash cows? Where are you getting money? Where are you losing money? Which business do you need to keep? Which one do you need to drop? And third, you now develop your strategy. This is where we go in depth into the strategy diamond. We look at arena, where should you be playing? Vehicle, what tools should you be using? Economic logic, how are you going to make money? And differentiation, what will stand you out from your peers? And finally, sequencing. You can't do everything at once. So you have to have a rollout plan. We will be looking at that. The fourth step is how do you establish your strategic objectives? This is where we talk about smart goal setting. This is where you can develop a vision board to say, hey, this is what I want to look like at the end of a particular period. Can you see why it is important to have strategic planning? Because you have to do some background work. You have to define your strategy before you start setting goals, before you start vision boarding. If you are not clear on the first three steps of strategy, you will end up with goals that are not tight, that are not based on solid principles. And that's why you find that even though people end up developing vision boards, goals, they don't achieve what they really desire, which is freedom, financial autonomy, financial prosperity, business growth. Do you know why? Because they did not do the strategic planning from the beginning. They just jumped into it at the middle. So you can see that setting goals, setting objectives is bang in the middle of strategic planning. And if you start a journey from the middle without knowing where you want to go to, you might end up just going anywhere the road leads you. So the next thing is executing your strategy. That's the fifth step. Here, this is where you do micro planning, annual planning, periodic planning, quarterly planning, monthly plans. And this is where you also build a structure around your strategy. This is where you begin to use systems and tools because there are a lot of tools out there. There are a lot of systems out there. If you don't take the one that works with your strategy, you'll just end up wasting all your resources and time trying to implement on nothing really. 
Again, can you see why it looks like you go for training, you buy this software, you buy that tool, you buy this, and you are still struggling? It is because you did not start with proper strategic planning. You get that? Right. So, the sixth step is establishing resource allocation. Once you have set your objectives, once you've started executing, you also need resources, human, financial, material, technology. You need resources. For marketing, you need resources. For research, you need resources. And it is important to tie a budget to your resources. You need resources, yes, but how much does it cost? What are the assumptions you need to know? So as a business owner, there is a correlation between your strategy and the resources you need. And finally, as you execute, you must review. You must monitor what metrics are you going to use to check success? What will success look like? What are you going to be tracking? This is where you have weekly, daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, and half yearly, and then yearly reviews. If you are tracking regularly, it will be easy for you to correct anything that is not working well. So, fellow entrepreneurs, seven steps to effective strategic planning made simple. That's what I'm going to be walking you through. First, review or develop your vision or mission. Number two, business operation analysis. Number three, develop and select strategic options. Number four, establish strategic objectives. And number five, strategy execution and plan. Number six, establish resource allocation. And number seven, execution review. Seven steps to effective strategic planning. Now let's dive into the details.